make the logistics of your workout insanely convenient. Buy a gym bag, prepare your clothes every night, keep protein snacks in your bag, and find a workout shower location extremely close to your home or work. Work out at the same time every day. Your brain hormones will end up triggering a cascade of behaviors that actually make you excited to work out and go to the gym. Shorten your workouts. You will not, I repeat, will not, maintain any fitness habit that requires you to sacrifice too much of your day. My magic number was 45 minutes. If my workouts are 45 minutes, the habit sticks. If it gets longer, I will start to rationalize why I don't have time that day. Trust me, play the long game. It's better to work out 30 minutes a day for 10 years than 1 hour a day for 5 years. Time your workout strategically so that it has the greatest possible impact on the rest of your life. For a minimum of about 3 hours after your workout, whatever you do you will do at an extremely high level and retain it in memory. Many people prefer morning workouts because they do their deep work in the morning. I do mine at lunch because I like to be at my best for my afternoon meetings. Something magical happens when you do this. You begin to see your workout as part of your work, and thus it is much easier to just do it rather than relying on some hurrah motivation. Utilize caffeine pre-workout to cement the habit. If you work out at night, use a stimulant-free pre-workout. This is the critical trigger I rely on to get me in the gym. The resulting dopamine hit will help solidify the habit. Within a week of doing this you'll get to the point where just looking at your pre-workout will get you excited about your workout. Avoid binary views towards working out. If you miss a workout, do not allow negative self-talk to infiltrate. It is way too easy to spiral. Have you ever cheated a little bit on your diet by eating some ice cream? But after you already started you felt like you already ruined everything so you may as well eat a ton more? This is the strangest human thought pattern I've ever noticed in myself. Trust me, the amount of bad matters. Allow yourself a little bit of bad. If you absolutely need to miss a workout, it's okay. Just move on, don't feel bad. The void created by how good you don't feel from missing your workout is plenty of negative reinforcement as as, don't add more to it. Just go again tomorrow. Stop focusing on how you look. Making significant progress in your appearance takes on the order of months and years to achieve. It is the wrong carrot to chase. You're setting yourself up for disappointment. Trust me, once the habit is instilled, this part will happen naturally. And once it starts, man, you'll be motivated to keep it going. At that point, you'll have two sources of motivation. Your appearance and how you feel. However, never forget, the latter is 10x more important than the former. Spend the first few months experimenting with different types of workouts. Does running on a treadmill make you feel like you're confined on a hamster wheel? It is extremely important to understand this. If you do not like working out, you are probably doing the wrong workout. There are so many options nowadays it is absurd. Spin. Hot yoga. Boxing. Bar. Zumba. HIIT cardio. Endurance cardio. Bodybuilding. Powerlifting. The key is experimenting enough until you find what resonates with you. Managing your nutritional requirements. When your health suffers, one of the first habits that usually drops is your workout. You need to actually put conscious effort on a daily basis to ensure you are eating enough greens, protein, and healthy fats to satisfy all of your vitamin mineral requirements. Even one nutritional deficiency can sap your energy and willpower. Master your nutrition and you'll have the energy necessary to recover and perform during your workouts. However much you're sleeping, sleep more. When you work out, the recovery demands on your body go up. In my experience of corporate America, almost no one I talk to sleeps enough. This is by far the most important on the list. Things I've noticed when I sleep less than 9 hours, yes you read that right, is depressive tendencies, anxiety, stress, lower levels of critical thinking, and significantly lower vigor for life. It's pretty hard to motivate yourself to work out in that mental frame. This is by far the most important variable to control if you want to work out consistently. Bring your conscious attention to all of the ways it improves your life. 
You'll begin to be noticed more by the opposite or same sex. You'll begin to be respected more by both sexes. You will become more present throughout the day. You will have a calmer demeanor that is able to handle unexpected stressful situations with poise and readiness. You will find yourself building a deeper and more meaningful life because you'll live with more intention within each moment. You'll have the energy to do things you usually only think about doing. Relish in these things. Let them speak to you. Working out is what we evolved to be able to do. Going on a hunt, swinging from branches, going on long walks. Evolution has instilled the machinery within us to be motivated to work out. It's up to you to tap into it. But once you do, you'll achieve things that you truly never thought was possible. Motivation isn't really a thing you can power through. You can't will yourself, or even positive self-talk yourself, to the point of showing up every single day to exercise. Or do anything else, for that matter. Instead, work for automatic programming of the brain. You already have a ton of automatic programs. Brushing your teeth, maybe, or watching a particular show. So if you want to exercise, pick something you already do regularly and weak that habit to include exercise. Here are some possible examples. Squats while you brush your teeth. Start with 10, work up to 30. Think that's not enough? Doesn't matter. The point is to build the habit, not do, enough. You can tweak it after this is solid. Watch TV? March in place while you watch. Do crunches and push-ups. Find something to step up and down on. Start with doing it for only the first 10 minutes of the show and add a minute every night. Talk on the phone? Put in earbuds and go outside for a walk every time you're on the phone. Wake up in the morning? Have your workout clothes and shoes ready to go. Put them on before your body knows what's happened and go outside. Once you're there, walk around the block. There are other ways that help, too. Make a bet with a friend. For example, commit to doing a 5k run or walk in 6 months, and share your running, walking plan with that friend. Put that against something they want to accomplish and compete with each other to get it done. Or use a friend or family member who already works out as your lunch pin. Don't hold them back, but do latch onto their routine. All you have to do is start your workouts at the same time, and you've gotten the benefit. Anything that builds the automatic circuitry of, exercise, in your brain will help. Edit to add, or, most obvious, sign up and pay for an exercise class. And then build the habit of just showing up. That's really the key, show up. The rest is just continuing to show up.